Hey guys, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this look for Halloween. So if you're interested in seeing how I got it, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off with a clean face and I'm also pulling my hair out of my face because I need to. And I'm just going to apply my foundation, concealer, and my setting powder just like I usually would on any other day. And once I have that done, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I decided to arch them a little bit more than usual. Felt like it would give me an angrier look. Next, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm creating these lines around my eyebrows that will come into play a little later. Next, I'm dusting away all of my setting powders. And I'm going to use my Kylie Bronze Palette to create the eyes. So I'm starting off with the warm brown shade in this palette and I'm applying it to my crease, pretty high on my crease, almost all the way up to my brow. And I'm creating a large dark circle around my eye. Then I'm going to go in with the brick shade and I'm going to follow the same lines. The first part was basically just an outline to help me figure out where I'm going to put the darker shade. Now I'm going in with the black shadow. This definitely wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, so I fixed it later with some gel liner. I'm bringing up the black shade over my brows where those lines were. It just creates a deeper look and it looks a lot better later. Now I'm going back to my contour palette and I'm using the deepest shade to create the bone structure. It's hard to make my chubby face look like a skeleton, but you basically get the idea. Now I'm using the medium shade, and I'm using that to contour my forehead. I'm not blending it out as well as I usually would because I want it to look dark and heavy. Now I'm going in with my Sephora Waterproof Gel Eyeliner, and I'm using that on my nose, and like I said, I'm also going to use it on my eyes. So I'm creating the outline and then just filling it in on my nose, and I'm going to set that with some black eyeshadow as well just to keep it in place. And I decided to create the neck bones, I guess, on the neck. <laughs> and I just wanted to be really subtle with it. Now I'm working on the teeth. And you don't want the teeth to be completely straight because nobody's teeth are actually shaped that way. It just looks scarier when it's a bit off. I'm also coloring in the inner portions of my lips. I just feel like it looks creepier that way. And I decided to go over the teeth lines with some liquid liner to help it pop a bit more, look a bit more finished, and have the black look much more bold. And I felt like it wasn't creepy enough so I started adding random cracks all over the face, starting around the eye area and moving on to the forehead and the jawline. And last but not least, I added liner to the waterline. And that is it guys. Really easy, really simple. It took a little bit of time but not a whole lot. So thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. That looks really, <laughs> really creepy. I'm not even looking directly at you, I'm just looking at that. Boy, that looks creepy. That's good stuff, babe. Thank you. Wow. Later, uh, thinner is going to be on. White man. White man from town. I got all the food ready. Take your time, okay? Okay. I'm almost done now. Well, take your time. Don't rush. Okay. okay?
Did it work out good? Everything worked out perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <laughs>